Here's another example of an inequality that we need to solve. First things first, though, is we've got to take care of this product over here. So let's go ahead and distribute. When I do that, I get 35 minus 5x is less than 2x minus 14. Now I needed all the x's to one side and constants on the other because what I have is something that's linear. So some of you are OCD and x's can only be on the left. And that's really kind of a good thing to have here whenever you're talking about inequalities, put the, putting the x's on the left. So those cancel. I move the 35 to the right side. So now I have negative 7x is less than negative 49. Now though, since I'm trying to solve for x, I have to divide by negative 7. Since I'm dividing by negative, my inequality symbol has to change directions. So instead of being less than, it's now going to be greater than, and that's greater than positive 7. So this is my solution, but I want to redo this. I want to show you there's another way for solving this guy. Because some of you may have said, but wait a minute, I wanted to move my x's to the right because I don't like having negatives. OK, let's do that. So let me start at that second step. 35 minus 5x is less than 2x minus 14. So in this case, let's move the 5x to the right by adding 5x to both sides. And I'm going to add 14 to move the constant to the left. Now, those guys cancel. Those cancel. 49 is less than 7x. OK. Well, now when I divide both sides by 7 here, the inequality symbol doesn't change. I've got 7 is less than x. Now, see, if you read it this way, 7 is less than x. But if you go backwards the other way, the perspective is a little bit different. x is greater than 7. So I can rewrite this and say x is greater than 7. See how the inequality is like chomp, chomp, chomping on the x? It's supposed to be doing the same thing if you were to rewrite that. So that's why I have x is greater than 7. But I'm, I'm not done. I want to graph this guy, then I want to express my answer using interval notation. So when I graph, here's 7. And what kind of circle will I have? Yes, I know that circles are round, but that's not what I meant by describing what kind of circle. This is going to be an open circle. It's going to be open because I'm not including 7. See if it had the equal to part, I would include it. But it doesn't, so I cannot include it. x is greater than 7, so that means going out to the right. And so interval notation would be from 7 to infinity. Why the parentheses? Well, I said you always use parentheses unless you have a closed circle. Easy way to remember this. If you have a closed circle, that's because it's included, and you would use a bracket. See? Since this is an open circle, you use parentheses. 